Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start. Too. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Nice body kick there. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Beautiful. Oh, he gets caught again there by another hook. He's connected on a few so far here in this round. Right back to it there. He's done. He's done. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, nice kick. All right, good to see Stephen Wonderboy Thompson back on the proven ground tonight and popping off that jab right out of the shoot. It's his best weapon. I mean, it dictates... No! Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Oh, Just over three minutes to go in our first round. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice shot there by Lee. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside of the opponent's head over and over again. Lee's leading from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, massive diving punch. Flush to the head. Big ground and pound. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fight is cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with, it, with absolute power. But now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button. It will not do any damage. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed him. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jet. Oh, He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline. He got hurt again. Fight back. Oh, now Fight working back. the body with the elbow. I'll buy it. of 
elbows. I'm surprised that didn't cut him open. Lee oh! oh! Seconds now to go in the opening round. Thompson's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Oh, we got one. Final seconds of round one. Two is next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlights. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Cool. Second round underway. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. <laughs> Uppercut is good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lands a shot to the leg. There it is. Right back on his legs. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack him. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Now lands a kick to the body. Oh, Father Ray liked that one. A beautiful land there by Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Let's see if he can close the distance now, DC, and follow it up. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. We started to take advantage of it early, and now... Whoa! Wonderboy going for the head kick. No dice. He heard him again. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to offer himself to get subbed. Good work from the top here by Thompson. Back to his feet. Oh! So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. This is where he wants to be. Thompson gets back up. Yeah. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary 
proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head. Oh. Oh. And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course,